key things when you're looking at the quality of herring. Uh, number one, you want to make sure there's as many scales on there as possible. This one has about 90% of the scales on there. You want to make sure the eye is nice and black and it's a nice full tail on there. Uh, another thing you look for is the herring looks a little, a little skinny. Uh, you want them to be skinny when they um, harvest them. They want you want them to be starved, and that way they have a nice firm belly on there when you plug cut them. So what we're going to do is get yourself a nice sharp knife, a nice flat surface to cut on. I don't use a guide myself, Dustin, if you want to get in close for this. What I do is I actually start right behind the collar, turn my knife at a 45, and I'm going to cut down to the tip of the pectoral fin there at a 45 degree angle. Okay, get rid of the head, get the guts out of there. I usually punch a little hole back here in the back, then you put it on. Go ahead and bring one of those up, I'm going to put it on, I'll put it on yours. Now the action that we're looking for in the herring is a roll instead of a uh, flip. There's two types of spins you'll get. One of them is like a propeller, kind of flips around like that. We don't want that. We want a, uh, the roll effect to where it looks like it's literally inside of a, a tube or a barrel or something. So when I bait it, or when I thread it through the hook, there's two sides now. There's the short meat side and the long meat side. Take your first hook, take it through the short meat side, bring it out the side of the rib cage just like that, about midway through the fish there. Pull it all the way out, let it dangle. Take your top hook, which is going to be pulling your herring through the water, start it on the short meat side, go in, twist it to where it comes out on the long meat side. It's just going to come out just a hair on that side there. And when you put it in the water, like I said, it should barrel roll instead of uh, instead of spin on you. So just go ahead and put that slightly in the water for me so we can see the action. A little lower, a little lower. Okay. So that's the action you see. Drop it a little lower for me. There we go. Alright, and that has more of a roll to it. And then you're just going to let it down until you fill the bottom and bring it up a couple cranks. That's it.